What's up guys, Daniel here. In this video, I wanna be answering a question that I get very often, and that are what are the key main roles that I need to be hiring for if I wanna be having a very structured or very scalable private function or private event side to a business. So these questions come from people who usually own bars, restaurants, cafes, wedding centers, private event spaces, and they wanna grow that side of their business. So I'm gonna break down some of the main roles that you're gonna to need to be aware of in order to be able to scale that side of the business. So I'll dive into the iPad to explain that subject. There, there are really three main roles that you're gonna to have to be, uh, let's say, hiring for, or you're gonna to need to develop in order for this to happen. So the first role, I'm gonna uh, explain this by having a stigman is going to be a marketing role, okay? So the marketing person's job is gonna be mainly about generating inquiries or generating leads because in order to close a sale, you need to have sales opportunities or leads or inquiries coming into their business. What the marketing person should also be doing is they should be in charge of generating testimonials, okay? Because testimonials are some of the best marketing assets that a business can have in order to acquire more inquiries, okay? So I'm gonna say testimonials. Okay. Another key factor that the marketing person should be doing is generating content, okay? So if, let's say, your venue specializes in birthday parties, what the marketing person should be doing is generating content at birthday parties. For example, taking some nice photos that can then be put on social media to uh, build more of a reputation that the venue has from the marketing front. Maybe they should also be getting some video snippets of people having a great time who are, who are drinking or eating within the venue. Again, this can be repurposed as content or ads that you're gonna be running on social media, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or Google, okay? So let's just say content. But overall, what the marketing person is probably gonna be spending a lot of time doing is running advertising. Because off the back of advertising, they'll be able to generate leads, the testimonials can be used in the advertising that they run, and the content can also be used to uh, support the ads that are being run. So I'm gonna also put Let's just say ads. When I say ads, I usually mean social media ads or online ads because are they the most potent, the cheapest, most effective advertising that a venue can do? So that's really what the marketing person's job is going to be. Generating leads, getting testimonials, generating content, and also running advertising, okay? The second role, the, the second role that's gonna be required to have a flourishing private function or private event side to a hospitality business is going to be sales, okay? You are gonna to have to have a sales role, okay? So what is the salesperson's job? Well, the salesperson's job should be working leads, okay? Let's just say working leads. Okay, so as an inquiry comes into the business, the marketing person is gonna pass that lead on to the salesperson, and it's really the salesperson's job to probably get them on the phone, maybe arrange a time for them to come into the venue for an appointment so they can show them around the venue and obviously close deals. So working leads, closing, probably doing transactions like deposits, and let's also say following up. Okay, so working leads, closing deals, taking deposits, following up, these are some of the main action points that a salesperson should be doing uh, within a private function or private event uh, business. So what you can have is you can have the marketing person and the salesperson as one person, because it, it is a marketing role and a sales role, can be delivered by one person, can be delivered by different people. You might have multiple marketing people. You might have multiple people in your sales team. However, there is a marketing role and there is a sales role. The third main area or role that you're going to need is going to be delivery, okay? So under delivery, you're probably gonna have more than one person here, but let's just say you've got, uh, let's just say a delivery team. Um, you might have bar staff, you might have waiters, you might have someone who manages the relationship once a sale is closed in terms of the organization. The salesperson might also be involved in delivery. Um, however, there has to be a delivery role in here. So the job of delivery is obviously make the event happen. 
However, really the main mission should be over deliver for every event that happens because what we've learned over the years is the best marketing strategy that you can ever do is positive word of mouth or positive interactions that people have with your business because that is going to uh, lead to a lot of people talking saying good things in your local market building up a reputation and goodwill in your local market and that is all off the back of delivery okay so the best marketing you could ever do is over deliver so really the mission of your delivery team is to over deliver okay so i'm just going to write that here because there's a lot that i could write under delivery but i'm just going to say over deliver okay because if you over deliver consistently uh, consistently and you really make that the mission of the business you will never have an acquisition problem if you're trying to grow and scale the private function side to the business so focusing on over delivery is huge so I just want to clarify that even though these are three different roles, you might have one person who does all three of these roles. You might have multiple people in each role. So you could even have one person do everything, or you could have multiple people in each role because it's all the same, that these are roles. There is a marketing role. Their job is to be in charge of these things here. You can have the sales roles, and their job is to be in charge of these things here. Then you can have delivery and again their job is to let's just say focus on over delivery so i hope this helped sort of recalibrate and maybe pull some stuff together because we get a lot of questions in the like daniel do i need a marketing person daniel do i need a um, multiple sales people can my marketing person be my salesperson does the person who do, do can the person who does my delivery also be the marketing and or salesperson um the person doing it doesn't matter as long as the role itself is clearly defined because if the role is complete and the actions are taken it doesn't really matter who does it as long as the work gets done so if you got any value out of this video um, i would love to see your comments below also give it a like and feel free to subscribe that'll help us out a lot um, we're just going to continue making content of this nature um, helping people who want to grow and scale the private function side to their business cheers